guys. So, as you could tell from the title of the video, we're going to be getting rid of the old crusty GT 2052S, just a wastegated turbo. I had originally just tried that out temporarily to see what the what the wastegated turbo would do, and it definitely gives you boost about 1700 RPM starts to make I don't know three to five and it p starts picking up real good at 2000 to 2400 so it, it definitely is usable and would work well with a MTDI pump but I've got a lot more technology going with electronics so I've got this GTD 2056 can't remember the whole name i guess it is stamped on the side there but anyway i had r2 over in finland get this guy all set up for me and i was gonna wait until i did a few more things with the jeep to put this on but i'm needing to help somebody out with some tuning and get a electronic actuator tune set up for this size of turbo I have it set up on the Toyota already, but I want to get it set up with this little bit smaller turbo. It should make boost even faster than the big 2262. So we're going to go ahead and tear out the the old one and, and put in the new. Um, first thing you got to do is get this. You can actually buy the plug that plugs into these actuators but this is this um, the mass airflow sensor off the TDI is the same size and if you basically notch out both sides of that there and then take a couple little tabs off that are on the actuator it will go ahead and slide right onto there and then it's super easy wiring if you look you've got your numbers here I did leave um, number five is still in there but it's not going anywhere you only need i just left that to plug the hole you only need one two and four one is positive which you're going to go right to your n75 valve wiring here and that would be the yellow black wire um, if you get that tied in to number one that'll give you power number two is ground and I just have that running off to ground that's mounting the N75. And then number four goes to the sense wire, which is the red wire over there on the N75 valve. So that is literally all you need to do. And we'll go ahead and plug it in here and I can show you when I turn the key on how it moves. All right, we got the 2052 pulled out. Everything's pretty well off there. And just to give you guys a size comparison here, obviously the, the VNT turbos have quite a bit bigger exhaust housing just because of the vanes and the extra passageway there. So it's actually about the same. I mean, they're both technically GT20 series as far as that goes but the um compressor housing is i guess it's kind of hard to see there but it is quite a bit bigger and so yeah should be pretty well set up so i had to take the charge pipe off over there on the other side of the radiator gonna have to run it a little different but other than that it's going to be pretty much the same setup all right, so we got the turbo in there, and I actually was mistaken there. My my GTD 2056 is actually this one here that's hard welded to the um, manifold. It was kind of what I was planning on using, but it actually doesn't fit. Um, so the one that I was already showing you is actually a GTB 
2056. Pretty close to the same thing, just a little different. Um, and anyway, it has this V band, and I actually had to turn, I think you can see it from up above, I had to clock the turbo so it didn't hit the frame there. But we just got a quick air filter and my very short downpipe and everything else. We got the oil lines. Um, you can kind of see down there. I actually had to use a piece of hose for the drain. It didn't quite stretch over. But other than that, it was pretty, pretty simple cutting apart a, the fittings on the just the regular ALH oil drain and then you can add a rubber hose and clamps to that so anyway we're gonna get a get a tune on here and if I can get that working I'll get you guys a video of what this thing sounds like and when it starts taking off boost wise we'll probably need to do some fine tuning of course but it's in there and ready to to test out so I didn't go ahead and video myself actually doing the work. I don't know unless you guys are really interested in seeing how I get everything done. I um, kind of have started just skipping that. I doubt it's that interesting to see, but it really is pretty, pretty straightforward as far as bolting this one in. I did have to add an extension to this. Um, pipe here and then another extension over there to bring this in down lower on the, the boost piping but other than that um, everything's pretty much identical so yeah um, pretty well came together and pretty excited to see how this thing works so thanks for watching guys